Welcome back to King of Rod. Last video, we had a humongous TNT 2v2 war that went crazy. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build that cannon for your own TNT wars. And for that, of course, you're going to need TNT, as much TNT as you can get your hands on. And then after that, you're going to need about a half a stack of redstone. And then, you, of course, you're going to need a button to activate it. You're going to need about a stack of building blocks of your choice. I'd say half a stack, but just to be safe, go ahead and have a stack. You're also going to need three slabs. I would suggest four, though, so that because you're going to need one as a temporary block. But anyway, after that, you're also going to need nine dispensers. Eight repeaters. And a water bucket, of course. Now to build this, find where you want to build. And mark the front of your build with a slab. Then take your building block and place one on both sides. And take your dispenser, place one on this side. And then in the middle, place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then take a building block and go one, two, three. Then come on the other side and use the building blocks to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now take your redstone, crouch, and place it on top of every single last one of these. And then next, place your redstone here. And then redstone repeaters going all the way down. And then place your button here. And place your water here. And now, feel free to load it up with TNT. Now, once you have filled up every dispenser with TNT... Now, uh, for more control with this build, crouch and place a slab here, place a slab on this side, and then place one on that side, and then go ahead and break this middle one, and then on top of that, come down here, and I'll show you how this works. Basically, when the TNT spawns up in here, it'll be pushed by the water. Of course, it won't do any damage because it's being waterlogged. But the thing is, with this slab, it'll give it more control to where it's an outward shot and not an upward shot. And having this here will make sure that when the TNT comes out of here, it doesn't go a little bit too far or else that can also make it shoot up. Now, how to use the build. With every single one of these ticks, the, these repeaters, you can set them. The more ticks you put the repeater on, the longer it'll last. So I'd say if you have a build like mine and you're aiming for the wall... Then, like, lower ticks on the repeaters will be better so that it explodes closer up at the wall. But as you go through, in a few seconds I'll show you, you're going to want even more and even more um, delay. By the way, this is fully customizable to range. If you fill all of these up, all of these um, dispensers up with TNT, it'll shoot with a lot of power going a lot farther and a lot higher. But if you take a few out, which I am, because I don't need that much power, I'd say about two or three out. Then as you see, when I click the button, it still has a nice little shot. And as you see, it kind of bounced up, which means the delay was a little bit too much. So we kind of cut the delay some. Then now... Okay, as you see, it's still gliding up, so you got to kind of hit it to where you got to customize it. The more you hit those things, the quicker it'll explode, so. Still going up. I guess we could just put them all on one in that case, because it's still got to travel. I would say keep one on two, put the rest on one, because it does still have to travel through anyway. There we go. There we go. You see, that was more of a direct impact. Man, well, if you made it this far, you know how to build it. The build is complete. 
Thanks for watching, but um, I'm so used to building another turret, I completely forgot. Now, this one should work. Yeah, much better. Okay. <laughs> I'm so used to having to play. Look, I'm about to do it again. I forgot. I'm so used to just placing them all on there. Well, um, now with this one, all you have to do is literally keep clicking. And as you see, we're starting to break through. We're through the second layer. Oh, that we're through the second and third layer. And we're now down to here. That's when you're going to want to start putting more delay onto it. Which will make it last longer in the air. Now, I'm going to try to make that as clear as possible. When I say that, the more delay you have, the longer it'll last. So, if it's for super long distances, put the most delay you can on. But if it's for a short range shot, less delay. Stuff like that. The farther you want it so the farther you want it to carry put more tnt into the dispensers then the shorter you want it to um okay yeah he's definitely shooting and as you see boom now if we bump this all up to at least three delay maybe a few fours in there it doesn't matter then it should if we go ahead and fly up it should be able to fly through Bam. And that is a direct assault taking out two lava pillars. Perfect. As you see, it's a very nice gun. And then if you want it to go a little bit farther, like say you want to hit the back wall for whatever reason, go ahead and place more of this in there. Now you probably will have to create a second hole if you have a build like this. Because it's going to have a lot more power as you see. Boom. See it's all the way up there. Yeah, you see that? But once that second hole is complete, it's just going to fly right through. 